Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome to this tutorial on how to write a C++ program for the Euler's method. And now Euler's method is a numerical method used to solve a differential equation. Alright, so we will be writing a C++ program for that in this tutorial. And first of all, I will go through the algorithm for the Euler method. Then we will go through the flowchart. And then finally the program for Euler method. Alright. So first of all, just like any other differential equation, first of all, we, what we need is we need some initial values. Because let's say our differential equation is something like dy by dx is equal to a function of x and y, right? So to solve that differential equation, first of all, we need some initial values for x and y. So we will prompt the user to enter those initial values for x and y and we'll store them in x0 and y0 all right then in the second step um, the purpose of solving a differential equation is to find out the value of y for some particular value of x right uh, usually if you are using any analytical method then you can find out uh, the form of y for example you can find out whether y um, um, you can find out uh, the function of y, right? You can find out uh, if y is the, maybe equals to cos of x or maybe y equals to sine of x. But in a numerical method such as the Euler's method, we cannot find out the form of the function of y. However, what we can do is we can find out the value of y for some particular value of x. So we will prompt the user to enter that value of x for which we want to determine y, all right? Then in the third step, we will prompt the user to enter the width of the interval, that is h. And what this means is um, the uh, this means that uh, how we will be incrementing our x. So just like any other numerical method, we will be using um, a lot, lots and lots of iterations, and we will be incrementing stuff. And in this particular case, we'll be incrementing x naught from you know whatever its initial value is to uh, the point uh, to the value of x for which we want y all right so we'll be incrementing x from x naught to x for which we want the value of y and the you know the interval uh, with which we want to increment our x that is known as h so it can take up values like 0.1 0.001 whatever the accuracy is desired by you however i should mention that the smaller the value of h that is smaller the width of the interval the better is your answer all right now the fourth step is uh, an iterative step where we will perform these three steps all right so the first step is basically just what the euler method or the euler formula dictates the formula says that a newer value of y can be calculated by using the previous value of y and adding that to uh, the you know h the, to the product of h and the differential equation all right so that is the euler method uh, or the euler formula that is being used here then we make y naught equal to this newer value of y then we make x naught equal to this newer value of x that has been now incremented by h so that's what i was talking about when i told you what h is h is how we will be incrementing x naught that is by how much we will be incrementing x naught and then we will keep on doing this process again and again until we reach x so until x naught becomes x because we need the value of y at x so we will keep on performing these steps until we have reached x and finally we will print y which is the solution and in case i haven't made myself clear enough let me show you this table um, that is a demonstration of the euler's method at play so here what we had was we had a differential equation um, something like dy by dx equals some equals a function of x and y and we had the initial value of x as 0.0, .0 and the initial value of y as minus 1. So these are our initial values of x and y. Then we calculate y prime. That is basically dy by dx, right? And we calculate that using the formula of the differential equation that we already have. 
let's say I have a differential equation like dy by dx is equal to x plus y. So we know that um, we already have that formula for y prime that is y prime equals x plus y. So basically what I have done I will do here is I will just add x and y. I don't remember the differential equation that is uh, being used for this example but that is the idea right. So we have an initial value of x, we have an initial value of y, we can, we can calculate the you know, derivative of y using those initial values and the original differential equation and then we can multiply that with the step intervals and then we get the new value of y using this formula right here that is we add the older value of y to this product of h and y prime. So minus 1 plus 0.1 gives us minus 0.9. So that's how we got this newer value of y. And then we got the newer value of x by incrementing x by the width of the interval. And in this case, as you can see, that x is being incremented by 0.1 throughout the table. So basically, our h is, or the width of the step interval is 0.1. So we will also be, you know, kind of, printing a similar table in our program, we will calculate uh, value of x and y at each iteration, we will calculate the derivative of y and so on. So let's go ahead. Then the flowchart is also pretty similar. We have the initial values of x and y entered by the user, then we ask the user to enter the value of x for which we want y, then we prompt the user to enter the width of the interval h, then we find out new value of y using the Euler's formula, then we make uh, y naught equal to y and then we make x naught equal to x naught plus h. That is we increment x naught and then we keep on repeating the process until we have reached x and then we print out y which is our solution. So the program, let's come to the program finally. Okay, so I will be running the program on my Linux. So let me just make it full screen. All right, so here's the program. In the beginning, I have included some of the basic header files for input output for using uh, mathematical functions like sine of x or cos of x or, you know, parallel functions. Then I create a function um, by the name df right here. The name of the function is df. It takes two arguments, x and y, and both the arguments are of the type double and the function itself is also of the type double. Now it takes up two arguments because usually um, we will be solving a differential equation something like this dy by dx equals to x plus y so we have two arguments uh, for that and basically what this function needs to return or store is it needs to return the RHS of dy by dx. For example if we have an equation like dy by dx equals to x plus y then we need this function df to return this RHS of dy by dx and in case you have an equation like you know dy by dx minus 2 minus 3 equals to x then what you will uh, have this function return is you will take 3 to the RHS of the equation make sure that there is only dy by dx on the LHS and then you will you know have this function df return 3 plus x if you are using a differential equation like this. All right, so that's that. Well, in this particular example, we'll be solving dy by dx equals to x plus y. So I have the uh, function returning x plus y. That is the arches of dy by dx. Okay, so now coming to the main function. Um, I have declared some, a few, you know, basic variables that I will be needing. Then, the, in these two lines, I have set the precision of the, you know, output to be such that uh, it only displays five digits after the decimal point. So these two lines are for that. Then uh, we prompt the user to enter the initial values of x and y respectively and store them in x naught and y naught respectively. Then we prompt the user to enter the value of x for which we want to find the value of y. We store that value of x in a variable x. Then we prompt the user to enter the width of the sub inter, uh, step interval, whatever you want to call it. I'm, I'm not sure what to call it exactly. So I just store that in a variable 
called it. Then um, these two lines are for formatting purposes. Like I wanted uh, the program to uh, the output of the program to look something like this. Uh, like we, I wanted to have a column for x n, then y n, then y n prime, so something like that. So these. Uh, um, this line is um, this is uh, for x column. Then I print y with a space of 19 for the y column. Then the column for y prime, and then a column for new value of y, which is basically older value of y plus h into y prime. All right. And then this line is basically uh, this is to create a line to separate this row. That is the heading of the table. Okay, so here is a while loop and all the operation will be done here to calculate the uh, solution. So here is the formula for the Euler's method that is the initial value of y or the older value of y plus h into dy by dx. And in my case, I am storing um, the, well, the arches of dy by dx in a function called df which takes up two arguments. Remember that, that is quite crucial. If you forget that or make some mistake, then you might not get the correct answer. So since it takes up two arguments, you need to, you know, whenever this function is called, you need to give it two arguments or two parameters. So that's that. Then we print out the value of x, y, then the derivative, and then the newer value of y, because um, that's what I wanted. I wanted a table with this heading and that's what I'm doing. I'm printing those values out. And in case you're wondering what this set W is, it is to set the spacing between two elements of the output. Then we make y not equal to the newer value of y so that um, we can calculate another new value of y in the next iteration and then we increment x not by h. And that's the loop that will be calculating the different the solution of the differential equation. And then basically, we print out um, since um, this uh, method goes up to um, up to a value. Since I have used a while loop that only goes up till less than x. That is, um, let's say I use a step interval of 0.1 and I wanted to calculate the value of y at x equals 1. And let's say if I'm at the step where x0 is equal to 0.9, all right? So 0.9 is less than 1, so it will calculate all this. And then uh, after this whole calculation, x will be at 1. So when x is equal to 1, this loop uh, will again check the condition whether 1 is less than x or not. So 1 is not less than 1 since x is equal to 1. So this loop will not run, therefore I needed to add another line that would finally print out the value of x for which we needed to find the value of y and then finally it will print out the value of y at the required x. So then finally we print out uh, the solution, the approximate value of y at x equals to 0 is y. And why I use the word approximate is because you must know that um, differential equations, oh sorry, um, the numerical methods are only approximate methods and they do not provide you with a, a very accurate answer just like an analytical method would do. But if you use a small enough value of h that is a step interval then you can get a very good approximation. So it's time to run the program now and let's say, okay, so let me just compile the program first of all. Okay, compile with, without any errors, so if that was successful, then let's run the program. So the program prompts us to enter the initial values of x and y and in this case I'm using dy by dx is equal to x plus y as the differential equation and I don't know. Uh, let me just enter the initial value as 0 and 0. Then uh, the program prompts us that for what value of x do you want to find the value of y? I don't know, maybe 1. Then the width of the sub interval, let me enter 0 0.001. And then uh, it, you know, like magic, it calculates, it performs all the steps. 
and you can see this table right here let me just go to the top of that okay so it got uh, some part of the table got cut off because uh, terminal only can display a certain number of lines anyhow at the end of the program you can see that I have the solution that is the approximate value of y at x equals 0 is 0.71692 that is uh, at value at this value of x we have y equals to this so that's that and that's how you uh, um, you program a C++ code for the Euler method and that's it for today. Thanks for watching and in case you have any doubts or questions don't forget to leave them in the comment section down below and if you like the video don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and have a great day.